the time of year when instead of getting junk mail and bills in the mail, you get sweet holiday greetings. But what if you get a card from someone who you neglected to send one to? How about the sometimes lengthy Christmas letter that some send that can sometimes come across as being boastful? For today's Tuesday Talk, we brought in Rachel Carlson of Yelp Pittsburgh Community Manager and John Chamberlain of the John Gow Podcast. Excuse me. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Okay, so you brought in some examples of Christmas cards. Yes, yeah, so this was last year. And then this was a year before, which the main difference you'll notice is, is baby. A child. Mm -hmm. And we we kicked off the cat because because now you have baby. adorable baby. Yeah. <laughs> see see yeah. what happens. So do you guys still send? Obviously, you do send Christmas cards. For sure, and uh, we, we've had a tradition in my family. My kids, we would always send some kind of. Uh, Whatever happened with our dog that particular year? Our dog was always a major <laughs> role of it. Then when our dog passed away, we didn't know what to do. But we, you know, we've, the first picture we ever took was all of my kids. We put ashes all over our face, and the kids were helping me make uh, the turkey, the Christmas ham. Oh, Christmas gosh. Turkey. so cute. So anyways, we kept that tradition. But now my kids are older. They don't even want to be a part of it anymore. Aww. So part of the story is, is that how miserable everybody is prior to taking these pictures, right? <laughs> That's exactly right. How much effort goes into actually right. getting people to it smile. It is very true. And I hated mine from last year because I was four months post-birth. I was like schlepping around on no sleep. Right. We were like trying to get him to smile. And it was just miserable. But you feel like you have to do it you now. You feel like you have to do it. Yes. Okay, so here's, here's the thing that always happens in my house is we've sent out all of our Christmas cards. You've ordered just enough because they get expensive. And then you get a card in the mail. Uh oh, we didn't send them one. So what do you do? I will get grab a card out of the pile of random random <laughs> cards that I have and be like, oh, thank you so much, and Merry Christmas. Uh, like I had never not wanted to send you a card before. <laughs> Add them to the list for next I year. I always order extra. It happens every year. I order yeah. extra. And actually, from uh, from the Jagoff podcast, we started completely negating holiday cards, and we send the February 10th card every year. I did get it. I got yours. Yeah, right. So, right. So so that that yeah, that helps cover every, all the bases. Okay. Yeah. So Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. What do you do? I'm a Merry Christmas person. I just, I, I like that. I, I like the greeting. I don't, um, I just grew up saying it. I enjoy it. But if it's a nice font on minted.com <laughs> or Shutterfly, then I'll go with season's greetings. Right. Really, it's about the look of things for me. And do you feel one way or another no, about it? No, it's a Merry it? Christmas. And I think part of it is, you know, not to be too serious, but knowing who the person is you're, you're speaking to, right? Right. And uh, so if I see you know, someone who is not Christian, then I might say happy holidays or, you know, that kind of thing. But yes. yeah, I, I'm, I'm a Merry Christmas guy. Know your audience. Yeah. Okay, so this brings us to the Christmas letter. Have you, have you ever sent a Christmas letter? No. no, God, no. And have you ever gotten one? <laughs> yes. You I have. think I thought it was a little odd. It's a little odd. Okay, so my mother-in-law, well-intentioned, love her. She's a wonderful woman. Every year sends the Christmas letter, and we get about halfway down the page, and oh, Frankie and Heather, X, Y, and Z, there's always something about us, and she writes about all of her kids and what's going on with her life and, and her husband. So, so what do you think about that, about including other people in your Christmas letter? Uh, I think that... You're giving me advice, really. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that you really have to be on your game this year and next year and the following years. Uh, I think that it's a lot of pressure, and I think that they are. Pro she is probably just going to make it rosy, though. I would assume. Have you she read does. anything bad? Yes. No, there's never anything negative. Okay. It's don't always don't make sweet. her mad right. before the, the card <laughs> comes out. Right. Now, I think, you know, because of social media, the newsletters are kind of going away, right? Right. Because you're, you're, but I think because of all the craziness on social media these days, I will open up your newsletter this year if you send it to me and said, and on the outside it says, there's nothing political in this newsletter. That's funny. <laughs> now, because, because now I won't open up your Facebook anymore, but I will open up your Christmas newsletter. And I will say the thing that I did the first year, I was an adult, a real adult, and sent cards was I wrote individual cards out, no picture, and I was so proud of myself. Then right. the next year, I had a printed out card, and I signed special messages, like a sentence, and signed it because I was getting cards that was like, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, printed out from X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, that's so impersonal. Last year, you just sent out the impersonal. It was just printed. <laughs> but the hot tip is these are postcards. 
So this is the hot tip is no envelope. These are postcards, so literally you just oh, stick a what stamp a good on idea. it. So that is pure saving time with the postcard. Much, much easier. So uh, there were a couple blog posts that I read prior to today's Tuesday talk that I thought were really interesting. People say with social media, why do you even need to send a picture of your of your child? Right. We all know what your kid and your family look like, but I still think it's the season, it right? Is. Yeah, I think it is, for sure. It's, yeah. it's the tradition, and that's why we kind of make ours, quite frankly, always a little odd. You know, because, <laughs> you know, that, you know, it's, it's, it's uh, I don't know, yeah, we see people, but on the other hand, we don't, my kids and I don't get together all the time for a picture, a selfie, maybe every once in a while. So this is the one time a year we fight for an hour, take a great picture, and then move on. <laughs> and I will say, I love getting mail. I, I do too. I love being able to open the mailbox up and not see some bills, but see a nice card from a friend of mine or my cousin. So I think it's just, gesture even though I may hate getting them out dressing them right it's on the other flip side it's really I love nice getting it do you have any good ideas for this year for your card? Uh, no, we're actually kind of stuck at this point. My son is a comedian, so we're relying on his, uh, his <laughs> genius at this point. So, yeah. Well, yeah so. Thanks, guys, for joining Thank us you. today. And you can catch Rachel Carlson this upcoming Friday when she's back with Yelp's roundup of best bakeries in town. I'm looking forward to that. Me too. It's going to be fun. And John Chamberlain and his partner, Rachel, have new podcasts every Tuesday. And this year, they've also added their first ever Holla, holla, holiday <laughs> gift guide on yourjagoff.com. Thanks again, guys. Thank you.